Hello, my name is David Tavares, and in this video I will show you how to download assets from Kitbash 3D's Cargo into your Unreal Engine 5 project. In the Cargo app, it's going to default to the Kits tab. You're going to want to go down to the Account tab and scroll down a bit. You'll see here User Software Settings, Add a New Software Setting, select the Unreal Engine, choose the correct version that you're trying to link to. In this case, I'll do 5.1. Here you'll have to put your project URL, your U file, find your project wherever you keep it, open up the folder, find the U project. You see up here it says you, you need to link the, the U project, that's the exact file you need to click. Open that, hit continue. This will this might take a while. I'll fast forward. And you'll jump forward through the next steps here. It will tell you exactly what you need to do, but I'll show you. That way it's easier to understand. You're going to have to find the project that you linked it to. It will not be linked to any other project at this time. You'll have to link them each separately, and you have to redo it each time the way it currently is in Cargo. Once you're in your project, you're going to want to go to Windows and see this Cargo button. You're going to want to press it. Verify that it is yellow. Just, that just means it's activated, that it's on. Then go back to your Cargo app and go Next. Then you're going to need to log in. Once you've signed in, you'll get back to the Kids page here. Find the model you want to import. If you go to Models, you can also see models that you've already downloaded, free models, models that you've owned. I can upload this destroyed castle wall. First, you need to download it. You can download different texture sizes. I chose this 2K JPEG, initialize. It might take a while to download. Skip ahead. Now you can import it. Once you hit import, it should import to the origin of your project. It can take a while to import as well. Uh, this actually took quite a while for me here. I'd imagine that it gets faster as you have everything imported already and downloaded and synced to this project. Here we go, it is opening now. All the textures popped in, and I was at my origin, 000, location-wise. Now you can see it is in my project. There you go, there is the castle. Not sure why Cargo imports a version of whatever you just imported to the origin. Normally you would put it in a content browser. Now it is in the content browser, so all you do is delete it and it is under content, cargo, content, cargo, and it has all the different folders in here. The actor right here that we just downloaded, this wall, this medieval wall. Very close to me right now. You can place it wherever you'd like. Place many. You want a whole bunch of medieval walls? And that's where it is, and you can treat it as a normal Unreal Engine asset.